Hey, what's up, YouTubers? How you doing? This is Sean coming right back at you with another video from Foreshore Family. Hey, uh, Thanksgiving just ended, and what do we have? We got leftover turkey. So what I'm going to do today is, is show you how you can make a quick and easy turkey pot pie. All right, so first I'm gonna start with the ingredients. We're working with some cream of chicken with herbs. Campbell's is just real nice and creamy. I love that one. Some mixed vegetables and some turkey and a little bit of chicken broth just to cut it. That's the major ingredients. Well, actually uh, your pie crust as well. Those are the major ingredients that you need, but uh, I'd like to add a little bit more, so I'm gonna put some cheddar cheese topping on it. I'm gonna use a little bit of salt and pepper, just a little bit of salt, because it can be a little salty. Um, some Italian herbs, stir and paste. And I'm gonna spice it up a little bit with some crushed red peppers and some Texas peat. All right, so I got my stove sitting at about medium temperature. I already preheated my oven to 400 degrees. Um, gonna start adding the Cream of chicken with herbs. You don't have to cook it too long, just, just want to warm it up. Try to incorporate the flavors just a little bit. But most of the cooking is going to be doing, is already done actually. We're just going to finish it off in the oven. One can and two cans. You're going to probably have a little bit of extra in the end, but that's okay. You can cut it a little bit more with the chicken broth and it, it makes a great soup. Using about half the bag of, of uh, mixed vegetables. Uh, usually I have them to room temperature, but these are still slightly frozen. I'll add the turkey in there. It was about two cups of turkey. Stir this up. Get it mixed in right. Add a little bit of our paste, not too much, about a tablespoon or so. Totally optional, but I, I feel like it packs some flavor to it. Also gonna add a little bit of chicken broth just to thin this out a little bit. So we can get it the right consistency. And you add just enough to make sure it's to the consistency you want it. You don't want it too thick. You definitely don't want it too thin. All right, we're gonna add a little heat component. You know, it's just to your taste. I'm not gonna do too much because I'm giving some to some kids. So just a little bit, just a taste. With the peppers and the hot sauce. A little bit more chicken broth. This is something you can eye. I probably wouldn't put much more than a cup of it in there, but um, it just depends on what kind of, what brand of cream of chicken soup that you use. Some are much more creamier than others. I don't think I'm gonna get too much more runnier than this. And then I'm gonna let this go for a while. I'm gonna taste it, add a little bit of salt and pepper, and we'll be ready to put this in the pot. All right, so it's, it's still cooking. It's getting, it's about the consistency I like. I had uh, tasted it a little bit, and um, I had to add a little salt, just a very little bit. And I have some 
pepper. Add a little bit of more broth. You know, you just do it to what, what consistency you like. And like I said, we're just heating it up, getting it ready to put it in the pot. I'm gonna let it go for a couple more minutes and then we'll be ready to go. All right, so now we wanna start working with the pie crust. I'm using Pillsbury two crust, uh, free, uh, refrigerated pie crust. You can use any kind you like, just follow instructions for the crust you use, I, but I highly recommend this one. All right, so we got the pie crust. And all we do is unravel it. and set it into your pan. I'm using a nine inch pie crust pan. It's perfect for the pot pie that we're using. Let's make sure it's even. And it's flush all the way down at the bottom. You want to get rid of all the air in the bottom of the pan. It's okay if you have a couple breaks here and there. I don't think I'm good. But it lets the pie breathe. You don't have to do anything to the pie can. You can use any kind of pie pan you, you want. You just want it to at least make it to the edges. Because then... Next thing we do, take some kitchen shears or, or knife and just cut it at the edge of the pan. Make it flush with the edge. So now we're gonna put the filling in the pie. You wanna fill it up close to the top as you can without overflowing. I set out for a little bit, but it's best to have it refrigerated for you. Makes this a little bit easier. Put the top on. Now remember it's a little bigger than the pan, which is good. So we're gonna take it and then we're gonna fold it underneath the bottom portion. Now another tip that you can use is to let the mixture cool. It'll be a little easier to work with. But I got some hungry kids, so I gotta get this going. Take away any excess. and just put it underneath the bottom until you get to the end. You're trying to make a good seal around the, the whole edge. All right, so I'm just cleaning up the edges a little bit, make it look pretty. And then after I get it sealed, I just take a fork, go around it. Make sure it's nice and sealed. Now, 
last thing to do is just make some slits in it so it can breathe. Put a good many slits. All right, so now we're gonna pop it in the oven. Put it in for about 40 minutes. All together, but we're gonna check on it in about 20 minutes. And then we're gonna protect our edges with some aluminum foil. All right, so ahead of time, I made this little contraption to protect the edges. It's been in there about 20 minutes. Um, so we put this on, I just use a pie press and just cut along the edges. I mean, I use a pie plate to cut along the edges to make this. So the edges will burn before you get everything baked off right. Just around the edge, and I'll tear off the rest. And we're good to go. So we're gonna throw this back in the oven for another 15 minutes, and then for the last five minutes before pulling it out, I'm gonna sprinkle a little cheese on top and let it cool, and we'll be good to go. All right, last thing to do is sprinkle a little bit of cheddar cheese on top. Not too much, just enough to give it a little nice color and then just a tad flavor. All right, back in the oven for about five minutes to let the cheese melt and good to go. All right, so here we go, the final part of looking good. Go ahead and dig in here and get a slice out. You can see it. chicken pot pie. Real simple and easy. All right, as always, I'd like for you to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. That's all I got. I'll see you later next time. This is a warm welcome from the bottom of our hearts from the For Sure Family channel. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. Until next time, see ya!